Today I'll be doing a comparison of two dual band filters, namely the IDAS NBZ2 filter and the Optlong Alpara filter. The IDAS NBZ2 filter has a bandpass of 10 nanometers in HA and 8 nanometers in O3, whereas the Optlong Alpara has a bandpass of 10 nanometers in both HA and O3. Now before we compare the two filters, let's take a look at an image without a dual band filter and this is an image using just a standard UV IR cut filter that does not show any halos. So we're looking at this image just to uh, see what the optical system looks like without any filters or without uh, any dual band filters um, and see if it has any halos on its own. So as you can see the C11 Edge HD with Hyperstar uh, does give you a faint halo around really really bright stars like Alnitac and this is just due to internal reflections in the optical system. Uh, so we'll make sure that if we see this halo we'll know that this is due to the telescope and not due to any of the filters. And if we compare uh, this filter, I'll zoom both of these to 100% magnification. And so this is the IDAS NBZ2 and this is uh, with just a UV IR cut filter from ZWO. And as you can see the slight halo produced by the NBZ2 is a lot smaller uh, than this large halo that we get from the optical system. Uh, so uh, since we don't see that large halo anymore uh, in the NBZ2 image because it has been uh, made so much fainter, uh, we only see the very very faint halo from the NBZ2. So now let's compare the NBZ2 and the Alpara. So on the left is a 360 second exposure from the IDAS NBZ2 on the horse head. On the right is a 600 second exposure from the Alpara. Now I didn't get a chance to image at the exact same time with both of these so they were taken with the uh, same telescope uh, at the same gain and offset settings at the same temperature. The only difference here uh, was that um, of course the exposure on the right was a 600 second exposure and one on the left was a 360 second exposure. So we are not going to look at the signal to noise ratio or transmission in this case. We're primarily concerned about the halo since these two filters should perform about the same. Now you can see that the image on the right because it's a 600 second exposure looks a lot cleaner and the one on the left has a bit more noise so that's that difference is entirely due to uh, the longer exposure for the image from the Alpara on the right. But if we look at the stars themselves, you can see that Alnitac has a very very faint halo uh, using the NBZ2 filter uh, whereas using the Alpara filter there is no halo at all even on Alnitac which is amazing. Uh, that would be unheard of just a few years ago. The performance of the NBZ2 I would rate as very good in terms of halo performance because this is much much better than I've seen uh, from many many other filters on Alnitac whereas the performance of the Alpara from Optolong I would rate as excellent or there is absolutely nothing to to talk about when it comes to halos with this filter. Now on regular targets I would not be concerned about uh, halos uh, anyway so both of these filters should perform very very similarly but if you are imaging targets with a bright star in the field of view like Capella or Deneb or Alnitac over here um, then the uh, Optolong Alpara will give you better halo performance. So I hope you found that comparison helpful. If you decide to buy either of these filters consider using one of the links in the description of this video below and that'll help out this channel at absolutely no cost to you. Thanks again for watching and clear skies.